In this screen, we see an example of Power Map displaying all of the crime that occurred in Chicago in 2011. Each dot shows the location that someone was arrested. The color of the dot indicates the type of arrest, for example, whether it was narcotics or for theft or for some other reason. I can put this map in play. I can zoom in and zoom out. Here I am zooming in and out, and I'll put it in play by clicking the play button. And then as it zooms, I can, uh, as it builds the map, I can zoom in and show you different areas of the map where crime is the greatest. You can see several blocks here, and probably your attention is immediately drawn to this large block uh, shown here. A lot of arrests are made there. That's actually the uh, Chicago de Police Department. They bring people in, they search them there, and they find out that they have paraphernalia on them, or they find out that they have outstanding warrants and they arrest them on the spot. That's why that is uh, so large. And then you can filter in and go to another map and just focus on one type of crime. In, in this case, this is their narcotics. Uh, and in this particular case, we can hit play. And I've got this one zoomed up so it builds a little bit faster. But you can see the uh, narcotics arrest, and they occur uh, throughout the city. There are spots where you see no, cardic, no uh, narcotic arrest. Uh, and if you zoom down in on them, you can see that some of them are cemeteries, uh, maybe, maybe uh, uh, parking lots and other places. But uh, if you were trying to establish businesses in the Chicago area, this might be good information for you to see where your business establishments might be situated furthest away from the crime areas.